A professor accused of causing the death of a Jewish protester in Thousand Oaks has pleaded not guilty. The 50 year old suspect just made his first court appearance in the case. KTLA 5's Kareen Winter live at the courthouse in Ventura with the details on today's arraignment. Kareen. Glenn, that's right. Loe Al Nayi, he pleaded not guilty during his first court appearance in Ventura today. Take a look. It was a very short proceeding. In fact, we had a camera inside that courtroom. His bail reduced from one million to fifty thousand, and he must surrender his passport. Al Naji, he was wearing a blue jail jumpsuit in court. The district attorney said today regarding Al Naji's felony charges, involuntary manslaughter, and battery, causing serious bodily injury that while he did not intend to kill 69 year old Paul Kessler, they were able to still file serious charges against him. This was based on new physical and forensic evidence retrieved in this case, including injuries to the victim's face. This deadly altercation had occurred during a rally over the Israel Hamas war in early November. Kessler, who was Jewish, was holding an Israeli flag at the event. Al-Naji had a Palestinian flag. Now, during their heated dispute, Kessler suffered a head injury and fell to the ground. He later died at a hospital. The Jewish Federation of Los Angeles said Kessler was struck in the head with a megaphone the defendant was holding. But listen to what Al Naji's defense attorney had to say after the arraignment. He actually countered that and had these allegations regarding the victim's behavior at previous war rallies. Take a listen. We know that Mr. Kessler um, had attended these rallies before and had been very abusive in the past. And it's clear when he fell, my client was six to eight feet away from him. So when he fell, um, as they're saying, he was pushed or hit by a megaphone. While he may have been pushed or hit by a megaphone, that's not what caused his fall. Because when, my, when he fell, my client's seen on a video six to eight feet away from him. You can imagine when you have 60 statements and 600 pieces of evidence. It takes a while to go through uh, all of those pieces of evidence. That's what we have done to arrive at this point. We have been able to take video as well as digital photos, put them together to achieve a clear sequence of events leading up to the confrontation. On Najee's next court appearance, a preliminary hearing. Well, that's set for November 29th. His defense attorney also telling us earlier today that he will be released from jail in the next six to eight hours. That's the latest here in Ventura. Kareen Winter, KTLA 5 News. Thank you, Kareen.